So what I'm going to do is activate my suction. And I'm going to place this supraglottic airway after I decontaminate this airway. I'm holding the suction catheter upside down so that this matches the patient's oral pharyngeal anatomy. If I ask you, Peter, with your fingers to close the mouth of the mannequin like this, can you do that for me? Yep. Okay, so what I can do with this is if I make a fist, I may not have a lot of strength in my arms, but what I can do is keep the arm connected to my body and kind of lean in and push the tongue and jaw down to put this in. I'm going to push this in, and then I'm going to move the suction out of the way so that the, the eye gel can make its final contact with the hypopharynx. This is a contaminated supraglottic airway. So what I'm going to do now is the demonstration of how to decontaminate this. I have a flexible catheter and I have a rigid catheter. This is how this is going to go down. If it's easy peasy, I'll just do this. But what I really want to do is go down the side of the supraglottic to the hypopharynx. And then I want, just what I did with Jennifer, is I want to unshake her hand, get the hypopharynx, then I want to reseat the airway. I'm just going to leave this in for now next to the airway and run the suction catheter down all the way to the bottom. Then I take this off of that one, suction the lumen, and go back to ventilation.